Traffic signals are lights, usually found at intersections, which regulate what you can and cannot do on the roadway. They are crucial in maintaining an orderly flow of traffic. Traffic lights are colored red, yellow, and green. It is important to know what to do when each color appears to stay safe on the road. When there is a solid red light, you must stop and remain stopped until the light turns green. When you stop at a red light, aim to stop before the stop line or limit line, which is a pavement marking on the road. An exception to remaining stopped at a red light is when performing a right turn. Some states allow left turns on red when it is onto a one-way road. Before turning right on red, I make sure that the turn is legal by making sure that there are no signs prohibiting the turn. Then, I check for pedestrians and traffic in the intersection. If the intersection is clear, I may turn, but only if I have made a complete stop first. For a flashing red light, come to a complete stop behind the stop line, just like you did at the solid red light. In most cases, a flashing red light will be used in conjunction with a stop sign to get the driver's attention. Yield the right away to other traffic and pedestrians, and proceed with caution. If you have a flashing red light, there is a very good chance that the cross traffic does not, so be careful not to assume it is an intersection with a four-way stop. When at a red arrow light, traffic must stop in the direction of the red arrow light and wait for the light to change. A solid yellow light indicates that the light will soon turn red. You should attempt to make a stop for a yellow light if possible. When approaching an intersection with a yellow light, check to see if you have enough space in front of you to stop, and check your rearview mirror to make sure that the vehicle behind you has enough space to stop as well. If there is not enough space, you can proceed through the light with caution. Be careful! You can get a ticket for going through a yellow light. Timing is everything. The light could turn red while you are in the intersection, making you susceptible to a ticket. Flashing yellow lights alert drivers that a busy intersection is ahead. At these flashing yellow lights, you must slow down and proceed with caution. Scan the area surrounding the intersection as you approach it. Take your foot off the accelerator as you enter the intersection, and then regain your speed when you are sure that the way is clear. You'll not have to make a complete stop, but you should be ready to react to any hazards. Cross traffic usually has either a flashing red light or a stop sign in this situation, but you should make sure the other driver comes to a complete stop before you enter the intersection. A solid yellow arrow light means that the traffic with a green light is soon to experience their light turning red. You need to treat this like a regular yellow stop light, stopping if you can do so safely. A flashing yellow arrow light means that you do not need to come to a complete stop to turn left, but you do have to yield to other traffic and pedestrians. Remember when you see these lights that in most cases, oncoming traffic has the right of way. When there is a solid green light, this means I have the right of way. I may proceed with caution, but I must yield to emergency vehicles and other road users as required by law. I could turn left at a solid green light but I must yield to pedestrian and oncoming traffic before turning. Someone may decide to ignore their red light or stop sign, so as an all-star driver, I always look both ways while approaching an intersection. A green arrow light indicates a protected turn and that cross traffic has a red light. Therefore, you should be able to safely cross the intersection in the direction the arrow is pointing. Follow the same rules as you would a solid green light looking both ways before crossing the intersection, while yielding to emergency vehicles and other road users as required by law. When you see the arrow light up green, you'll have the right of way over all other vehicles in the intersection. The green arrow will light up at the bottom of the traffic signal, so you'll have to watch for it. These lights don't usually last very long, so if I am the first vehicle, it is very important that I pay close attention to the changing of the traffic light. When I do turn, I remember once again to look both ways at the intersection. If I don't, someone who's not being attentive might hit me. While the accident wouldn't be my fault, it is going to cost a lot of time and money to get the vehicle fixed. There are crosswalk lights for pedestrians who want to cross the road known as pedestrian signals. A pedestrian who wants to cross the street can press a button, setting off either a red light to stop the traffic, or a flashing yellow lights to have traffic yield where they want to cross the street. Pedestrians have the right of way and may cross the street. However, just as when you are driving a vehicle, as a pedestrian you want to be aware of the vehicles near the intersection and make sure that the driver of one of those vehicles is paying attention as you walk through the crosswalk. However, just as when you are driving a vehicle, as a pedestrian you want to be aware of the vehicles in the intersection and make sure that the driver of one of those vehicles is paying attention as you walk through the crosswalk. 
For flashing don't walk signals, pedestrians walking in the street have the right of way. But if you consider yourself a slow walker, you should stop and remain at the curb since this light is indicating a solid don't walk signal is about to appear. Some of these lights are accompanied by a countdown timer, letting the pedestrians know how many seconds they have left to cross. For solid don't walk signal, pedestrians should not cross the street. As an all-star driver, be aware that although the pedestrians have lights governing their actions, they do not always follow them. Though each state has different laws regarding pedestrians and when they can cross the street, remember that pedestrians always have the right of way.